time for Tuesday's Tapes with Patrick Evans Hilton, and it is great to see you again. Yeah, thank you. You too. All right, we need to uh, launch right into it, That's starting right. with, uh, you know, singing for supper, I guess you That's could right. say. Singing for supper, our friend Johnny Moe, Johnny Morrison, up on the Eastern Shore. Uh -huh. uh, you know, he's known as the musical chef because the guy's so crazy, he'll come out of his restaurant, Mallard's on the Wharf there in the Nancock, and play a couple of sets between, uh, between cooking. But he's got a great uh, event coming up mm -hmm. I wanted to let y'all know about. Oops. All right, Johnny Moe is doing his uh, annual Music for the Hungry, the musical chef. He's made many appearances here on the Hampton Road Show. He's authored, I think, two or three cookbooks by now. And uh, his restaurant is Mallards on the Wharf in Onancock and the Eastern Shore of Virginia. And he's always been a, a very big advocate of food security. That's right. He's always um, really helped out a lot with the, uh, the food bank. And so this event, it takes place July 14th mm -hmm. up in Onancock. Only $5 to get in. There's all kinds of food, music all day long, just really all kinds of great stuff going on. You know, and this is the seventh year, and over the last six years that they've been doing this and other events for the food bank, they've raised more than $45,000, which is fed, which has provided more than 135 thousand meals for people so this is just like one person doing this just imagine yeah. you know how we can all go out and help with that absolutely and you know to, it, there's also a 5k run at eight o'clock in the morning and like you said the music and uh the cooking all day long a barbecue throwdown starts at noon you can go to chefjohnnymo.com or mallardsllc.com if you want in more information about music for the hungry that's right and another one now another cute event yeah for a doggone good cause. A doggone so good clever. cause. Well, one thing that's so cool about the restaurant community is, uh, you know, a giving back and everything. So uh, Vintage Tavern and Riverstone Chop House, sister properties, they're having this event uh, called Passion for Paws Picnic, also on July 14th um, at Riverstone Chop House. And it's really cool. It's $15. You get some really great Angus uh, burgers. You mm -hmm. get uh, some homemade hot dogs. And the money proceeds, uh, the Suffolk Humane Society, we know how good their their uh, their meats and steaks and everything oh, else, yeah. so we know that's great. And they're also going to have a wine tasting uh, get your as whiskers well. wet, they say. So get your, yes, get your <laughs> whiskers wet, whiskers wine tasting and all, too. So that's really cool. You can get go to uh, their uh, website and check out more information about that as well. Okay, so a couple of great events, the Music for the Hungry and uh, the event at Riverstone Chop House, too. Two reasons to mark your calendar for July 14th, but we're also looking back a little bit at op sale because folks were so taken by the tall ships and the sales. That's right. Uh, only true foodies may realize, was happening, you know, on some of the decks, and as exactly. food was a huge part of that festival. Well, it's kind of a kickoff to the Olympics yeah. and all the fun stuff that y'all are doing on the show this week. Oh, I watched yeah. yesterday and all. This was kind of a culinary Olympics because we had all of those ships from visiting countries there, mm -hmm. and uh, the great folks at uh, Festivants uh, at Virginia's Finest, which is part of uh, the Virginia Department of Agriculture and Culinary Institute of Virginia, took a lot of those chefs from those tall ships and paired them with American chefs yeah. for this culinary fleet challenge. And yeah. It was awesome. Uh, and so everybody paired off. Uh, they cooked off. We had like 20-something judges go to all of the ships, and it came down to five people. And then uh, there was only one winner, though. And it was Scott Simpson from Founders yeah. Inn, along with the Ecuadorian ship uh, uh, chef there and all as well. Now, when, when Scott was here on the Hampton Road Show, it was uh, uh, Jose Franklin yes. Obregon Uzoa yes. of Ecuador. I can't believe that, na that name was not on the uh, tip of your tongue. can't uh, believe that, well, Patrick. You know, it was, it <laughs> was there. But Obregon. Was it, but you've been under the weather, so you shouldn't attempt a name like that. It could mm -hmm. set you right back. Um, <laughs> he said that part of the challenge, too, was they just got this basket of ingredients, and they That's didn't right. know what it was going to no be. One, no one knew and all. So I'm going to read this to make sure I get everything correctly. Listen to what they may. You may want to lick your screen. I don't know. But, <laughs> you know, be sure you clean it first. Uh, corn husk wrapped black sea bass stuffed with lemons, onions, and rosemary grilled on a cedar plank and topped with a sauce made from Virginia white wine, Fresh leeks, Edwards Country Ham, Love Edwards, fresh to, uh, tomatoes, and a splash of cream and regional oysters, along with rice with coconut water, studded with Chesapeake Jumbo Lump Crab, and topped with grilled corn kernels. Now, if that's not smack your mama good, I don't know what is. That sounds And awesome. I was very lucky to be a judge, so I can attest to that. Mm -hmm. Even that's though my good. mother's in Texas, so I didn't smack her. And I wouldn't smack her anyway. Good. Well, wait, it's just an expression. But it was just so crazy good, you know. All right. Um, we need to do a couple of quick of your dish discoveries because as yes. usual we've talked too much. That's quite all right. A couple of things that I found out and about. Uh, the really awesome uh, one of them is this ghost pepper salt at Savor the Olive, which is a gourmet shop out yeah. in uh, Virginia Beach. Really incredible. It will 
set your head on fire. It is so hot. The ghost pepper is like one of the hottest peppers. You just use a little bit as a finishing salt, but it's really, really awesome. Also, um, at uh, Terrapin, uh, Cody Diggy, he's a chef there. Yeah. He's making these just incredible uh, Cody's Petite Macaroons. They're selling them at Old Beach Farmer's Market in Virginia Beach. Unbelievable, light, billowy, perfect. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, I was up at the Fancy Food Show a couple of weeks ago in Washington, and Jody from Jody's Popcorn shared with me these incredible uh, flavor-coated popcorn bits to sprinkle on ice cream and other desserts oh, like that's coming topping. out soon. So mm -hmm. look for those and prepare your taste buds. That sounds yes. good. I know you know a thing or two about cooking with popcorn. A little bit, a little bit. All right, a couple of things that we didn't mention, the a la carte, uh, the, the uh, Dog Street Pub, uh, you have a report about that yes. opening up in Williamsburg, and a burger bar uh, coming up, 8020 80, is opening yeah. soon, where the boot was in Ghent. That's so we'll right. put all of that information uh, on our website. We'll link Patrick's blog to our blog, or you can visit PatrickEvansHilton.com for everything we talked about today and some of those little tidbits that are upcoming. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you.